Good morning, folks. Top recommendation is from last night's news, NOAA's EVL giving us a 2013 fire map. Speaking of fires, NASA's Earth Observatory with a four-day spread of the California Rim fire as well. St. Lucie, Florida lost 100% of state-funded oyster fields. The entire water area is toxic. Pet owners, beware of a deadly disease that no vets can explain or even identify. Coastal Nigeria with an all-too-regular oil spill, while flash flooding destroyed dozens of homes to the north. Observers, there will soon be an addendum video added to Chapter 1 of Starwater. As evidence for an anhydrous surrounding space is disappearing by the day. I'll have at least two additions, this one about the moon, and the possibility that Ceres could be the best place to look for life in our system, not the moons of Jupiter and Saturn as I purported in that presentation. Very cool stuff. Typhoon Kong Ray, checking in. Hopefully they're ready for it in Taiwan. Hope for a major weakening as well before it hits Japan. You remember Fernand, which dissipated late last week in the Gulf? Well, the rain event always outlasts the low-pressure vortice. In fact, this one dropped so much that over a dozen people have died in severe mudslides triggered by the rain. Solar flaring is low, but the sunspot sitch is looking better with backside development and mixing down south, as you can see right there. Up north, my mistake yesterday. That's a double negative umbra with a trailing positive plague, not a giant delta spot. My bad. The tremendous eruption visible off the western limb yesterday has officially been clocked and analyzed by Cactus. The word is that the fastest bits could have posed risks to satellites if it had been fired in Earth's direction. The solar wind indicates coronal hole stream with a front leading density spike out ahead of speedier particles. In yellow and green, the hottest speedy particles are not naturally dense, but they catch up to the slower solar wind electromagnetically and bunch it up out ahead of the faster energetic shock. A geomagnetic storm was produced yesterday evening. Magnetometers showed the signs worldwide and the front leading density spike dinged the electrons. Interplanetary magnetics showing Mars and Mercury sharing a magnetic connection to the Sun. Interestingly, this is on the back side of the Sun in this exact position. Still got the Earth-facing coronal holes to the right. They finally broke the quake drought with a majorly downgraded reading here and a six-pointer ignored in Alaska eight minutes later. Also, what's described as powerful volcanic explosions in Kamchatka. The earthquake watch must come down to seven as the coronal hole begins to exit, but we're still way below average statistically, so don't be shocked to see more. And now for something completely different, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.
turn the television off, cousin. It's a tool for them to clog the mind. Conservatism, liberalism, they divide the line. The natural feelings of a child is to be common kind. Then they show you ads for the Marines and they decide it's time. So they can send you to a war behind their father crime. Then send you home and send a limb and I provide a dime. And the news tell you cops is on the block for people. I'ma put it simple and plain, cops is evil. Take the television, show cops, for example. That's the shit they want America to watch and sample. Never showing you how dirty that they really is. And that they hide behind a badge and that they really bitch. I ain't never met a pig in my life That I ain't wanna catch a body on a jig of my knife Yeah, that's another fucking topic for another day I'ma tell you how to try to get you in another way They tell you that there's something wrong with you, you need they drugs But there ain't nothing fucking wrong with you, they big and thugs They sell drugs and commercials at the same time Lock a motherfucker up for the same crime